I'd just like to thank the cruise team for bringing us over 350 million miles uh, to unplanned NAF filter parameter changes and one heck of a lot of professionalism and uh, and dotting of the I's and crossing of the T's. Uh, Curiosity is in fantastic shape to perform entry, descent, and landing, and she's there because you guys got her here. So thank you very much, and good luck. See you on the other side on Mars. It's strange to think that it's been over eight years since we witnessed the landing of the Curiosity rover to the surface of Mars. This was a truly remarkable landing and used a brand new sky crane technology to land a car-sized mobile laboratory inside a crater of another world. Today, history is not repeating itself, but the event nevertheless does rhyme with the landing that took place back in August 2012. The new Perseverance rover boasts an impressive array of scientific instruments, including, but not limited to, ultraviolet Raman and pulse laser spectrometers, ground-penetrating radar, atmospheric and seismology equipment, and to top it all off, a solar-powered helicopter drone, appropriately dubbed Ingenuity, that will perform the first powered flight on another planet. I'm personally intrigued by this. Solar-powered drone technology was a concept I tinkered with a few years ago, but more interesting still is the possibility that new developments in performing aerial panorama stitching and automosaic maps using drone, drone imaging may be spurred on by what is sure to be an impressive test demonstration of this technology. This equipment is completely autonomous and is really built for the future. In many respects, this mission does have some echoes of early lunar programs, with the lander even carrying the first laser retroreflectors to be deployed on Mars for space-based laser communications and tests of general relativity, something which the Soviet Luna and NASA Apollo missions were eager to test back in the 1960s and 1970s. The mission of the Perseverance rover is based on the scientific questions surrounding the possibility of the potential habitability of Mars in the past and the quest for the molecules of life and perhaps evidence of life itself. The location couldn't be better chosen, as Jezero Crater is an ancient river delta, not that dissimilar to the river deltas that exist on Earth today, at the mouth of rivers such as the Nile in Egypt or the Mississippi River in the United States. The delta is rich in sediment, made up of many layers, in what appears to be an on-again, off-again relationship with water that Mars seems to have had throughout much of its geological history before it became the icy desert world we see today. This mission is probably the single most important exobiology mission that it was ever conceived. Even if it does not discover evidence of past life, it is a probe into the perfect control case we have between our own inhabited planet and what we know of Mars. We know that Mars had virtually all necessary ingredients for life and by discovering more about how and why the similar chemistry of life can differ in its complex behavior between different planets may be the key to uncovering how it got started and proliferated for billions of years on Earth and perhaps other worlds that we discover as we increase the sets of eyes that we have on the universe.